Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for third grade. We are on number 50. So let's get out our word form. And it would be F I F T Y 50. And because our one's place value is a zero, it is an even number. All right, let's go for our factors. Oops, keep that straight. Come on, straighten out there. So we have one times 50. So one times 50 is our factor pair. Two times 25, think about money, two quarters equal 50 cents. Three does not go in. Four does not go in, even though it's even. Five goes in 10 times. Five times 10 is 50. Six does not go in evenly because it goes into 48 and then it goes into 54. Seven doesn't go in because it goes into 49 evenly. Eight doesn't go in. Nine doesn't go in because five plus zero is five. So we are done. So those are the factor pairs, the factors of 50. Let's move on to addition. So this is our easy one. Whenever we have a zero on the end of anything, it makes our life so easy. So we're gonna do one, one plus 50 is 51. Two plus 50 is 52. Three plus 50 is 53. 50 plus four is 54. 50 plus five is 55. 50 plus six is 56. 50 plus seven, of course, is 57. 50 plus eight is 58. 50 plus nine is 59. And 50 plus 10 is 60. And hopefully you just whip through those as quickly as you could because that's pretty darn easy math. Let's move on to subtraction where it might get trickier. So let's give it a whirl. So subtraction, we always start with the last number. So it's gonna be 60 minus 50. So zero minus zero is zero, six minus five is one. So 60 minus 50 is 10. Nine minus zero is nine, five minus nothing, five minus five is nothing. <laughs> 58 minus 50, eight minus zero is eight, five minus 50 is nothing. 57 minus 50, Seven minus zero is seven. Five minus five is nothing. 56 minus 50. Six minus zero is six. Five minus five is nothing. 55 minus 50. Five minus zero is five. Five minus five is nothing. 54 minus 50. Four minus zero is four. Five minus five is nothing. 53 minus 50. Three minus zero is three, five minus five is nothing. 52 minus 50, two minus zero is two, five minus 50 is nothing. 51 minus 50, one minus zero is one, five minus five is zero. Boom, we're done with subtraction and addition. I'm sure you just whipped through this. Let's move on to multiplication. So we have 50 times two, so let's go through this, make sure we are all on page. Two times zero is zero, two times five is 10. So two fifties make a hundred. Let's do three fifties. Three times zero is zero. Three times five is 15. So three fifties is 150. Let's do four times 50. Four times zero is zero, four times five is 20. 200 is four fifties, 50 times five. 
Five times zero is zero. Five times five is 25. 50 times six. Six times zero is zero. Six times five is 30. 50 times seven. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times five is 35. 50 times eight. Eight times zero is zero. Eight times five is 40. 50 times nine. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times five is 45. Then 50 times 10. We're, we don't multiply by zero down here, so we just drop it down. Then we say one times zero is zero. One times five is five. Boom, done with multiplication. All right, let's move on to our measurement. And hopefully you're getting really good at this. You probably shouldn't be taking too much time to do all this work, either as homework or morning activity is usually the best as you come in and have something to do. So let's do 50 inches. In our standard form, we know it takes 12 inches to make a foot. So we're gonna make it into a fraction that we are going to take apart as an addition problem in fractions. So 50 twelfths is what we're looking at. So we're gonna do 12 over 12 plus 12 over 12, that's 24, plus 12 over 12, which is 36, plus 12 over 12, which is 48. And then we have two more to get 50. So we have one, two, three, four whole, and two twelfths feet. So four and two twelfths feet is the same as 50 inches. And when we put this in yards, we want 50 over 36 equals, we have 36 over 36. Well, let me X that out. We're gonna do 36 over 36 plus, and this is our 36 mark right here. So we know we have 12 and two. So we have 14 over 36, just one way to look at it. So we have one hole. So this would be one hole and 14, 36 of a yard. And let's do our metric system, centimeters, decimeters, and meters. All right, so we have 50 centimeters, which is gonna equal 50 over 10 because it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So then we're gonna do that 10, five times, right? Because five tens make 50. So real quick, we're just representing it in fraction form. So we know that's one, two, three, four, five whole decimeters. Five whole decimeters equals 50 centimeters, which equals 50 hundredths of a meter. And 50 is one half of a hundred. So this would go into an equivalent fraction of one half of a meter. Down the road, we'll be doing that. We're done with the number 50. Have a great day.